Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to use this um, Christmas Angel Ornament Mold from Molds and Shapes. Um, there are 12 angels and um, yeah, it's actually for a customer order and it's my, my boss. <laughs> So um, she liked the size of these angels. They are 7.5 centimeters um, height. And yeah, she wants them to put on presents. So she asked me to do a couple of angels for her. So I'm starting with my glitter. I have here uh, mixed red and champagne glitter. So this is champagne glitter I just got in a local store. And um, let me see, where do I have my, hmm, ah, it's in front of me. And I have the um, Red Jubilee Holographic Glitter. It's a fine glitter from Dora's Art Corner. So I will just um, fill my angel wings, just using here my popsicle stick and I'm not um, filling them completely, only the tips, because when I put clear resin um, later on, they will float anyway. So this is what I'm doing. Hope I'm not making a too big mess. See, it's already dripping there. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it will be fine. Yeah, this one can have a little bit more. And this is what I'm doing um, for the wings. So I will speed up this process a little bit so it won't be yeah, too long for you. Um, I do this for six of them and the other six I will just use the champagne glitter. So I will fast this forward because it's always the same what I'm doing. So I'm back and what I do now, I will mix also just a tiny incy bit with some white. So for my white, I take the pigment drops from Etta Art. I just go with two drops, one, two, and I'm gonna mix it and this is gonna be um, the head. I just put a drop, you know, from my popsicle stick where the head is of the angel. And by the way, the resin I'm using here is the Ultra Cast resin. It's a medium viscosity resin. It has a rather long working time and I love to work with it because I get wonderful effects and I really love it. So just putting a little bit of white on top here so that the head has a different color from the other shadings. And this actually is a very easy pour, so very good for beginners and also for beginners to achieve a really pretty and satisfying result and I think this is very important when you start with a craft that you are not going to get frustrated because you cannot do the technique for whatever reason. So here's my clear resin and I'm filling up my molds rather um, yeah, half full. So first I divide what I have from clear resin and then I see what's left and if maybe I need to still put a little bit more into each mold. Just try to be careful because these ornaments, they are not very um, big. They are rather small, so just take your time and don't, don't rush too much. So 
you are not overfilling anything. And I'm telling this from experience because it happened to me many times that I was overfilling. It still happens sometimes, you know. And then I think, Petra, do what you preach. But it, sometimes it just doesn't happen. But I can only um, say to you, just take your time. And do not rush too much. Resin art is something, you know, you should enjoy. And you should not feel pressure with this. Just, you know, do what you feel like. But it's with every kind of art or handcraft things you can do. So, almost there. I guess my angels are everywhere touching. Or my clear resin is everywhere touching also the glitter. And now I have to see. Um, I didn't fill them equally, so the result of um, what I want to do might be a little bit different for every angel, but I think it doesn't matter. It's handcraft and it just cannot always be the same. So I'm just trying to fill up some of the angels where I think it's a little bit too less of the clear. You see, I'm not measure, measuring. I just make sure that, um, yeah, I have enough clear resin for my colors to float and to make the effects I want to have at the end. So I guess this should be fine. It should be round about the same, but this one is already quite full, so I didn't pay too much attention here. Anyway, where the reds are, I want to go with red mica powder. So I have here the ruby red from Etta Art. Where do I have you? Show you. It's a wonderful, really deep red mica powder. And you see it here. I just mixed a little bit and before I start pouring I really mixed it very well. With mica powder you really need to mix it very well so you are not risking that there are gonna be blobs at the end. So and what I've not done, shame on me, I didn't check for air bubbles. And now I'm seeing here some air bubbles at these bows, so I need to try to get them a little bit up and I should do this for all the angels. So please make sure that you get the air bubbles, which you can see, which are trapped, you know, in those little bows, because this is easy, easily happening that you just take care of them. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm sorry for this. I should have done this yeah, straight away, but I simply forgot. Sometimes when you make your videos, you are talking and English is still not my mother, um, mother tongue. So yeah. Then you are concentrating that you are saying the right thing. You are also concentrating um, that you are pouring correctly. And then, you know, you forget things. It doesn't matter. So, and look at this red. Isn't this beautiful? I really love this. And the last one. It's so bright and so dark and so beautiful and there's still air bubbles even though I tried to get them up so I need to go in there again there's a small one so just be careful when you do this that you are not ruining, ruining your pattern too much and now I just Give it a tiny torch just to pop those bubbles and let me have a look. These two angels can have still a little bit of the red. 
So I'm doing this. Not too much, like I said, not that you overfill your mold. So this is my red. And there is also um, the red champagne wings. And here I'm taking the, the white. It's an interference white from Etta Art. So I wonder what results I'm going to get with this color. So it's a little bit like, um, how to say, um, like um, crystals in there, like an effect powder, but we will see what will happen. So I'm doing the same. And I love the um, crackle effect in those angels. It's so beautiful, I think. And I hope I can achieve it also with this. But it's always good to test different um, powders, different materials to see if you get um, similar effects. So I let this run for a while and this one can still have a tiny bit more, not too much. There also. So, like I said, take your time pouring. So, I'm just looking and I will leave them a little bit or no, I will just add a little bit more because they can still have a tiny bit more. See, by taking your time, you can always pour a little bit more later on. Anyway, these are already working very well and I hope they will work very well. Now we come to the next colors and this is the Interferon Champagne. Um, where do I have this jar? It's here. It's unlabeled because it was a sample I received from Stefanie Etta and I will use this one also. Um, also poor like this so the pour is always the same but the results um, will be maybe very similar but you see different color sheens and yeah you see what you can do with a simple technique or you need from my experience a medium viscosity resin you need um, some glitter some mica powder and then you just poor and and of course you need a good quality mold so and now my last color and this is a chocolate brown it's also from Etta Art a mica powder so let me just show you it's also very beautiful so and also pouring this was a little bit um, off center <laughs> yes you see these things are happening but they they won't do anything any harm i think this is also beautiful color for an angel and you see that the resin is also moving into the wings so I'm always hoping for nice effects then also for the wings that is not just the um, glitter I mean you see the glitter also floating on top and this is also very beautiful so and this is the pour I just let it rest and I know that the resin will be traveling downwards so yeah I don't think I need to put you on a time lapse, but you see it already here. The resin is traveling and it will hopefully give nice effects. So time for demolding and I'm very curious how these turned out. <laughs> so I first get them all out like normal and then 
I'm curious um, with the different colors, with the different glitter on, yeah, on two types. <laughs> so they pop out very good out of the mold. And you know, I need to admit, I had a little bit of overflow, so I need to take needed to take a little bit of resin out. I guess with this one, you can still see here a tiny bit but this is okay <clears throat> i guess this won't bother anyone these things are happening especially with these um, delicate um, pores but yeah <laughs> so now they are out and i just go color by color um no for each color oh yeah <laughs> And this is the first one. See, there was something in my mold which I didn't see. But look at these. Really like this. Beautiful crackle effect, which goes also in the wings. It's like a dress. Yeah, now I'm doing all the reds. Okay, Petra, it's early in the morning. And actually, um, after I do this video, or I do the demolding, I will be off to Schondorf, where Stephanie Etta is located. So, <laughs> so I'm also a little bit nervous. It will be a little bit um, driving today. So I guess I will be maybe six hours um, just for driving. That's what I need. For you Americans, six hours is nothing, I know. But for us Europeans, it's quite a lot. So... And this is with, the glit, um, with this interference white. So you don't have really um, a crackle effect. And this is what I wanted to test. But I think the sparkling of this interference white is very, very beautiful. So this will be the same. And look at this. Yeah, it's a lot of sparkle, which I really like. But good to know that with this um, mica, I cannot um, achieve an effect. So now I'm curious with the interference champagne. And yeah, there I have also this delicate um, glitter with this white and interference champagne or goldenish in the dress. So they are quite simple to pour actually. But I think the effects are very beautiful. They're delicate and yeah, it's easy, um, especially for beginners. And I think when you really begin with resin art, um, it's good to see a video where you cannot basically, where you cannot do anything wrong. So first um, pour the clear then the mica and then just let your resin work and use a medium viscosity resin. So look, this is a brown, the dark chocolate. It's also very beautiful. Love this one. Next one, same beautiful crackle effects. And what I like that the glitter is more at the tips of the wings. This is something I like very much. So, and here, and this crackled even more. Do you see this? Do you see the difference? It's amazing. I don't know why. Hmm. I thought I did very, very similar to all of them. Anyway, and then I used the leftover just to see what will happen in a round coaster. I just made puddle pours and also using the rest of my clear. So this is the pouring side and I'm curious. Well, <laughs> it's not this bad. So I used all the colors up and wanted to see what can I achieve. And yeah, I actually like it. With a sparkle, it's very beautiful. And it's a beautiful crackle effect. Okay. Now I talked enough 
and i will make an end video like always and i thank you for watching take care guys bye bye